we have people just sit up there and vote for this, like on the city council. You know, everybody just, oh, well, you know, we've been, yeah, I mean, how are you being fair? Montgomery County will be 200 years old next year. Mm. And other than, um, and, well, the, uh, the county commission is a majority, have a majority mm -hmm. seats. And school board. Mm -hmm. But the sad thing about it, even though you have a majority number of black seats, the votes never usually reflect that majority. That, there's something wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> there's something really wrong there. <laughs> so, as far as this adjustment that you're talking about, uh, this is something that's going to. There's more than just bias. I mean, you mm -hmm. get adjustments. You, 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 you know, truly, my grandma has, has a very unique history, you know, this 200 year history. Yes. Number one, the county itself is kind of centrally located. Mm -hmm. And so it became pretty much like the center for the uh, slave trade. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the river came in from the, uh, the Gulf of Mexico. You know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so a lot of those ships that came in came up the Alabama River and they ended up with it being a slave trade center. Mm -hmm. They actually have tunnels that are still that still exist. I mean a lot of these downtown streets where they offloaded slaves, bring them through these tunnels into holding areas in the basements of some of these buildings. You see particularly on Carmel Street, Carmel Street, Dexter, Dexter Avenue. Dexter Avenue used to be called Market Street. I see. Slave Market. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah, and they changed that out, I think. Uh, somebody, I forget who Dexter was, he was um, someone that uh, was prominent, prominent member of the Montgomery community. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, so this it's clear that like, there was a slave trade. So, mm -hmm. the next thing, until I was elected, Montgomery County was the only county in the state of Alabama that only had one incorporated city. One. Which the city of Montgomery. Wow. In Montgomery County. Wow. No other. County out of the six to seven counties has that type of configuration. Hmm. And I don't know, I am looking at the, uh, the logistics of every county in the United States. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go to the point to say that it's probably, it was probably the only county, not only in the state of Alabama, but in any other state in the United States. But it had only one cent. Yeah. The significance of that was that basically the slave traders became among the largest slave owners because they was handled. Mm -hmm. So the people in the city and the people that own these plantations, these slave plantations, in the rural primarily were the same people. So ultimately, the uh, the people that were the slaves themselves and their descendants thereafter mm -hmm. <laughs> developed a mindset of slavery. Their offspring developed the same mentality. Sure. So when you look at the uh, the structure of families, particular black families, mm -hmm. in Montgomery today, mm -hmm. and you look back, mm -hmm. that they are the descendants of slaves that came here. Absolutely. And they were in a system where there was no competition. There was one, but one game in town because the city and the county basically was the same. The people bank the money and did the trade in the city and at night they went to the plantation. Mm -hmm. Or if they lived here, they went to the plantation and checked in like that. Mm -hmm. And so 
you had a structure among the, uh, the slaves themselves, and particularly the offspring, that was developed around the configuration of these slave owners. They took the children of the slaves for the last, what is 200 years, um, old generation. Mm -hmm. And they decided who the person that, that was on their plantation, that their children would be in charge of this, that they would be in charge of the education system. You know, you had, you know, unless you was born in Montgomery County, if you were a, you know, black from someplace else, like me, mm -hmm. I mean, it was, I don't care what you interviewed for, mm -hmm. or how qualified you were, normally, if it was involved in the placement of a black position, it was coming from somebody mm. that was on one of these plantation owners. My, my, my. And that's what it's supposed to So that is just are you great. Are you saying that that, I, I actually call it just the, the basic, that, that the mentality, you know, the, the, the passing down of that. I actually have a term uh, for it, which is generational racial trauma. And, um, you know, it's it's something that, uh, for some reason, the American Psychological Association, uh, will, there's not a diagnos diagnosis code for the condition of what you just described as far as, uh, you know, sort of like the generational passing down of, uh, of uh, certain cultures and, and ideologies. Uh, and it, and it affects both races, black and white, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So, <laughs> so you're you're telling me that t today, to this day, to this day, there's sort of like a, still like a plantation ownership. Mm -hmm. Those same families. The same families. Now these fourth generations, and I'm trying to make my fourth generation. That the descendants of these slaves from the plantations was most of them. Mm -hmm. A lot of them still exist. I mean, the for the ownership of the properties. And so, that has been... Are you saying that these people actually live? Not necessarily there, but, okay. but I'm saying... The, the plantation owners. The plantation owners mm -hmm. was basically control the business sector. Probably but, you know, the structure is a lot different in this current generation because a lot of people have migrated into here basically from the uh, the presence of Maxwell Air Force Base. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of uh, retirees, and then you have the, uh, since, you know, 2000, you have a lot of in industrialization, you know, primarily with automotive industry. So you have a lot of internationals and military people that have come in and they have, but although in many instances, um, they are going to match it to go to, you know, to the, uh, to the side where the Bible is. But that has changed the dynamics a lot mm -hmm. because it, it wasn't a, a question of, um, if you're used to it, somebody came in from the outside, you know, they were white, black, and whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, they, 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 it was, they had to, and even to a large degree, just like, you know, what we're talking about these uh, little spouses in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have a spring of hope when people come in, um, you know, they get the orientation and and they see, you know, how the structure is. And, uh, you know, naturally, they're not in a position to challenge it. So, mm -hmm. like this around, you know, they're about happy with this, and I'll be making it happy too. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, 